welcome back everybody let's ready to learn something more interesting perfect because I'm just gonna teach you about applying the images in the web page so let's just start working on the image so for inserting the image there is a tag IMG okay IMG is a short from the image but to this is a tag and an interesting thing is this is the empty tag okay so basically this is the image tag but one thing more I just want to teach you in this class that there are some kind of attributes which is called the fixed attributes okay means the attributes which must be inside the tag to run the tag for example here if you just want to show the image so you have to type the src attribute the source attribute okay which is really really necessary basically the fixed attribute it is the equal sign and the two single or double quotes and now put the path of the image now where is the image the image is in the HTML format uh, HTML folder and there is the image named my home okay well this is the image interestingly this image is created by me because uh, um, I'm the passionate in 3d works basically so by the way this this home is created by me and I'm just uh, going to attach this home the name of my home but something more you must know before attaching the image to the web page let us go to the file and what is the what is the type of the file the type is dot jpg don't forget this okay the image format the now my home dot jpg okay the name and the extension should be clear and then put the period between them and save and go to the browser refresh that now you can see that the image is there okay looking perfect but I'm just going back to the notepad and here I'm just using something more like the with attribute W I D T H now exactly I think you can understand that what the with attribute can do I'm just putting here the 300 px well right now I'm just putting the 300 not the px refresh now the size of the width is 300 and the height adjusted automatically but I can put the height to set the height forcibly so there I'm just typing I'm just putting the height as 500 now save and go back and refresh now you can see that the height is uh, around uh, 500 and the width is only 300 so we should put the height or the width only I'm just putting the width only so the height is automatically adjusted as much as it required but something more we must know about the image for example I'm just putting the homes or yeah homes my homes and saving and going back to the browser and refreshing now where is the image there is a symbol logo which is clearing that there is the image tag but no image or image is missing now the image name is perfect but I'm just putting the PNG format however the real format is JPG so go back to the notepad and refresh it's still it's there is a problem so in this case we can put the alt attribute what the alt attribute can do here I'm just typing this is the image of my home save and go back to the browser and refresh now this is the image of my home however there isn't any image but the concept is clearing that this is the image of my home but if you just clear up the name of the image jpg now everything is fine so refresh now there is no alter tag the alt tag you can see but it's really worthful still why because according to the SEO or if you just want to show your website in the search engines in the Google list so uh, you want to show your image images in the Google list too so you have to put the ALT tag okay because Google actually can't see the images but can read the ALT tags of the images there is another thing too I'm going back to the notepad and adding the title attribute um, yeah this is pretty perfect now the beautiful whatever you want to put you can image or house okay now save and go back and refresh now how are the how are the image the beautiful house wherever you hover the image uh, the mouse you can see that uh, the beautiful house so this is the title attribute and this is a simple image I hope you understood something more I just want to declare that if I just duplicate this now you can see that there are two images so going back and now you can see that 
the both images are in the same line that means it's not the block level element this is the inline element okay just why because this is the first image and the second image is just after the first image and basically the first image is not getting the whole area and there isn't any line break before and after the image that's why it's declaring that this is the inline element the img is inline element so guys we will learn some more things stay tuned and goodbye <laughs>